this video, I'm sharing the eight most profitable businesses that literally anyone can start in 2020. None of these ideas I'm gonna be sharing require a college degree. They don't require a lot of money to get started. You can launch them in a matter of weeks or even days. And most importantly, you do not have to quit or compromise your day job to start any of these. <laughs> this is Millennial Money and Business. We share the tools to help you escape your nine to five with confidence every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So do me a favor, hit like and subscribe. It tells the algorithm to show our video to more people and it gets us that much closer to our goal of becoming the first woman-led business channel with more than 1 million subscribers. I'm Coco. I love building businesses more than anything. Like how some people enjoy doing their makeup all the time, or shopping all the time. I love making money. But what I've learned on my entrepreneurial journey is not all businesses or side hustles are created. What is going on? I'm just curious. So what's up with this art back here? My vision board. I don't get it. All businesses require sacrificing time after work and on weekends but they don't all pay the same. I, know, I don't know guys, I don't know. So I created this list of eight most profitable businesses to start in 2020 so you don't waste any of your precious time. And I've added a bonus tip that I know will fast track your success in any one of these businesses. Number one, start a dropshipping store. If you aren't familiar, dropshipping is a business model where you just basically act as a middleman between a product manufacturer or distributor and the customer, and your only job is marketing. The thing that makes this a super dope option is the fact that you don't have to stock up on inventory, you don't have to deal with the manufacturing or fulfillment process, you literally just pick a product that someone is willing to dropship for you, you market and advertise the product, and when you get a sale, you contact your dropshipper and they ship it directly to your customer for you. If the process is working right, you don't even physically touch or see the product at all. Everything happens seamlessly. Can we drop it two times for dropshipping though? Mm -mm. Now, this is literally one of my favorite business models because as long as you have the order fulfillment process automated, which is way easier than it sounds. This model is totally scalable. Number two, most profitable business that literally anyone can start in 2020, start a service business. If you're willing to roll up your sleeves and put in the work, starting a business where you provide a manual service in real life, that's another great option. Our house cleaner makes over $100 an hour. What? Yup. While you over there judging, because they're focused on that bag and not worried about that judgment, they're making more cleaning houses than most people are getting paid using their degrees. Then babysitters out here are making 16, 20 on average per hour plus transportation. Um, what did you say you spent on your babysitter on a night out, Katja? 250, a single night. You could be doing that, okay? E-commerce is a great way to make money, but as these examples have shown, it's not the only way. Now, the next few ideas I love especially because they're all about leveraging the business of you and your personal and professional experience. So number three most profitable business that literally anyone can start in 2020, become a freelancer. If you're thinking, well, I don't have a skill to leverage, you're wrong. Do you speak English? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? You can become a spokesperson like any of the people you see here on your screen advertising their services on Fiverr. What do you like to do? Do you like to read or write? Because someone out there that doesn't feel as confident in those areas will pay you for your help. Do you like clothes? Are you willing to take the time to create some digital flat lays and post them on your IG so people can reach out to you to style them? Do you know how to get and keep a man? Do you have hardware? And are you willing to guide your girls to the altar? We as women don't give ourselves enough credit. There's value in every single story, especially yours. Even if you're still in college, 
The fact that you made it there is something you can sell to parents and students trying to get there too. And this is starting to blend into the number four most profitable business to start in 2020, becoming a coach. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't mean sport ball coach. <laughs> I mean a professional guide. You're probably familiar with the idea of business coaches, but there are also birthing coaches, fitness coaches, style coaches, YouTube coaches, healthy eating coaches. I can literally pick any word, put it in front of coach, and I bet there's someone out there using their experience to get paid to help someone else reach that destination. Now, as a business coach, full disclosure, I charge at least, you ready for this? I charge at least $1,000 per hour for one-on-one -on -one time with me, and people pay for it. You excited about becoming a coach yet? Yeah? No? Did I subscribe yet? Yeah? No? Say hi in the comments. Number five, most profitable business to start in 2020, launch an online course, which I actually prefer over one-on-one -on -one business coaching. Why? It does require a lot more time up front to create the course, but once you do the work, it is done. And as long as you're marketing the course, it's basically passive income. I have two courses. Both have links in the description. The first course I launched, the Green Business Masterclass, that made over $12,000 in 12 hours, and my Hair Extensions Business Masterclass course, it's in pre-launch and it's already making money, totally passively. I literally just get a notification on my phone saying, I just made another thousand dollars and that's that. Number six, most profitable business to start in 2020, launch a private community. Now this was my first business venture that made over six figures in less than half a year, off memberships alone. I charged $40 per month. Once inside of the group, members gained access to information only shared amongst group members, and they all shared a sense of community and camaraderie inside. Now to do this, you've got to choose a niche that you know people are interested in and provide real tangible value for members, and you have to be willing to invest your time into fostering a sense of community inside. Now, you guys have heard me mention our private community, CEO Society. It's only $5 to join, and the value we offer inside, your ability to connect with like-minded hustlers and share ideas and create friendships, plus monthly live stream business coaching with yours truly that would otherwise cost you $1,000. All of that value definitely outweighs the cost of joining. So it's like a it's like a no brainer. And that's what you have to do for years if you're planning on monetizing a private community. Got to pack that value in there. Number seven, most profitable business to start in 2020, selling feed pics. Just playing. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe, maybe I was joking about this, but but look how it rolls in. What ride with me a second. Number seven is to start a print on demand store. But I guess if what you're printing on t-shirts and mugs is feed pictures and people are buying, <laughs> nope, went off the deep end. Yeah. Okay, so this uh, is kind of similar to drop shipping in that you don't have to hold any inventory or handle fulfillment. All you have to do is design an item on a website like Teespring or Printful, market it, and cash in when it sells. You don't even have to handle fulfillment. This can be especially profitable if you can make merch that speaks to a specific and underserved niche. Number eight, start a digital agency. I know you're thinking, Coco, you said I wouldn't need any special training or a ton of money for these ideas. You don't sis, simmer down. With a combination of outsourcing and strategic positioning, this is something anyone can do. I've done it before and it was way easier than I expected. I'm gonna walk you through the process step-by-step step in one of my next videos. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss it. But in the meantime, the hack that will fast track your success in any one of these businesses, starting a YouTube channel and talking about what you're building on that channel. In my last video, I talk about how YouTube can amplify your brand's presence and help you leapfrog the competition. Check it out here if you missed it. 
Now this could mean the difference between you making a few hundred dollars when you get started and making a few hundred thousand dollars and that's not an exaggeration. So in my next video, I'm gonna show you how to start a successful YouTube channel in 2020 with just a cell phone and zero dollars invested as, as long as you already have a cell phone now if you want to dive even deeper on this subject or any other business matters of course i have more youtube content coming but we also have the ceo society facebook group that i just plugged oh my gosh here we full circle um so link in the description and as you know growing this channel to 1 million subs it is the only New Year's resolution, business goal, and focus my team has for 2020 because representation. There are no female business channels with more than a million subs. All you have are these guys growing it up, talking about cars and sports. I don't care. I don't care about that. There are way too many of us out there in our bags looking, <laughs> looking cute and, and paid and pretty. That's us. We exist. We deserve representation. So we're building our channel to a million subs this year and we would appreciate the support. Just hit subscribe. Hit subscribe. We're about to build a YouTube channel in the next video. See you there, bye.